Hello everyone. Brett here. And this is Topo Ranger. And as you can probably tell from where I am right now, I'm in the Susquehanna River here. And today we are exploring some of the islands. I don't know how far I'm gonna get. This is really my first official outing with the Aqua Ranger here. So there are three main islands in what I'm going to call the Gut Road Archipelago. There is the northern one here with no name. There is the middle one here, which is the biggest one. This is, I think it's called Ellie Island. And uh, later on, I'm going to tell an interesting story about a drug deal gone bad, assault, people swimming around the middle of the river on islands, evading helicopters. Uh, it's an interesting local news story. You might have already heard about it uh, once I get to the other side of the uh, of LA Island, maybe I'll stop and get some water, have a snack, and we'll, we'll talk about that. LA Island, biggest one, and then there's a, another unnamed island down on the southern tip there after LA Island. And then there's about, I'd say, at least a dozen other small islets. I'm gonna try to pass up through here, go down the eastern coast of LA Island, past the southern unnamed island, and then we're gonna try to come back up here through this channel, which is the, this is the western channel, or I guess about half or a third of the river comes through. This is kind of deep over on the other side. It looks kind of shallow, lots of rapids, moving water, and, you know, fighting against current. So I figured the best idea for me would be to come straight across here, cut through, let the current carry me down, and then come back into the, uh, the easier stuff to come the whole way back up to the car. So <laughs> I made it across my first test here which was basically this part of the channel right here so i tried to go basically diagonal up to there uh, and the one thing i've already learned is and you know i kind of expected this but you really, i really just got to get in here and experience it this current right in the middle especially is pretty strong and i really wasn't able to go diagonally even i certainly couldn't go straight up i actually got pushed over some rocky points right there down to here and I came up here, I grabbed onto this. Now, I brought this along. I brought this little length of a climbing rope here with a carabiner because I knew I was probably gonna stop. And one of the big fears I have is, you know, you stop, get out of your, get out of Kainak. You know, I'm always looking at stuff, getting distracted, you know, fidgeting with the cameras and whatnot, taking pictures. And your, <laughs> and your kayak gets swept down river and with all your stuff. And that's it, bye-bye. You know, and I, I just don't want that to happen. So I brought that with me and I think that'll come in handy. And the cut I want to take, the channel is right up there, but I, I try to, I cannot paddle against this current. So we're going to uh, nice bedrock here. You see that? I'd imagine this right here is probably the dolomite. Ah, oh, sun's coming out. Sweet, we got some tubers down there. Water looks pretty nice too. Some golf balls. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's get these out of here. Yep. Yeah. Let's put these suckers back here. We'll take them home as mementos. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice. I'd say that's probably definitely the dolomite. And look, you got some outcrops going up into the island. See, that's what I'm interested in. You got a little spot right here. You can drag the drag the kayak into into port here. There we go. That's not going anywhere. We are on the northern tip of Ellie. E L Y Ellie or Eli. I'm not sure what you would call it. Island and. Uh, no, actually, we're not. Actually, well, yeah. That right there is the northern tip of Ellie Island. I'm just gonna call it the big island because it's the biggest island in this archipelago. This is a little islet that is in the channel between the big island and the northern island. And we're getting these dolomite outcrops, which is good because one of the things I'm interested in, in terms of these islands, is what, what's the geology because Right over here, we have the quarries on Gut Road, which are all um, ledger dolomite. And 
that's cave forming dolomite in this area. There's, there's quite a few caves in the ledger dolomite uh, in York County, Lancaster County, in and around this area. So I'm interested to see what kind of solutional features, and if any, maybe there's uh, might be some karst features on here. I think probably there's not enough relief and they're in inundated with water and mud so much that it's probably unlikely, but hey, you never know. I met up with a couple couple guys down there that were fishing and they gave me a little bit of a, a little bit of some inside scoop on this stuff um, what is on these islands well there's cabins some are occupied and they said there's ruins up here there's cabin ruins because the cabins don't last very long they build them and then you get a big storm coming through and flooding and they get washed away so one thing we're gonna be looking for is the ruins of summer cabins and they're probably gonna be on the big islands uh, north, middle, and southern big islands. Um, deer, too. They said there's lots of deer on these big islands up here. So maybe we'll spot some deer. And they said it's... Uh, you can go on these islands. There, I guess some of them are private, but as long as you don't try to, uh, you know, take over the island or camp on them or, you know, hunt or probably, you know, stuff like that. You know, and you don't bother the people at their cabins. Nobody really cares, I guess. That's what those guys told me. Those are the first guys that I talked to who, uh... <laughs> oh, damn, bro. <laughs> did, did you see <laughs> Did you see that? I'm gonna leave that in because that was uh, funny, mainly because as I was going down, I slipped right here. You can see, this is a big exposure of the of the of the ledge of dolomite. I didn't crouch. I didn't. I was too busy blabbing. You can see the slip. I slipped on the mud. I managed to throw the helmet off into the weeds, and it just landed in the water. And it's a waterproof camera. And I did not hurt myself. So there you go. All right, let's head across the northern channel here. Put this sucker on. Try not to slip again on this dolomite stuff, huh? What do you think? You think I can get in here and start paddling or is it too low? Let's try to paddle. Let's just go for it. There we go. Oh, jeez, yeah. I can push too. Gondola. I don't think the current shouldn't be too strong here. It's pretty shallow though. Oh. I don't want to get sucked down there. Oh. Which is exactly what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, this current's not too bad right here. Let's, let's see if we can just scoot around the end here, get a better idea I see a posted sign over there It's pretty swampy today 
not more than three, four feet deep right here. Came up there. There's another cut there. White cliffs of Kanoi, right there. Northern tip. I can see Shocks Mill Bridge now. Um, Covanta next to the Bill Mark Quarry, which is right there. White Cliffs, Bruno Island Power Station. Those power lines, Conewaga Falls, I think, right there. We're <laughs> about a foot of water. All right, let's go down to these rocks here. I'm about halfway through my water, <laughs> and I've only made it to the tip of Ellie Island, or Eli, I don't know, anybody out there watching this, and you know the, the pronunciation of this island, please uh, leave a comment. And everybody else leave comments too. Have you ever been here? Anything cool here? I wouldn't mind coming across some old uh, cabin ruins. Current's definitely taking me, though. This is nice and easy. It's nice when the current works with you. You don't have to do anything. I don't want to get sucked down some channel I can't get out of. So I'm going to hop off right here I'm gonna get up on this yeah I think we're still on the dolomite pull up right here nice little spot here We have made it to the eastern shore of Ellie Island. Right there is the Lancaster side. Looking up, we have a really nice outcrop of the dolomite here. Flood debris here. Here's the, uh, this is the middle of the island. Kayaks right there, Brunner Island power plant. White Cliffs of Kanoi looming there. And off in the distance, I tried to get some stills of that, is Shocks Mill Bridge. You can right, you can right there see it. The question now is how do I want to proceed? I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back along here and show you the rocks and stuff. Down here I can hear what sound like some rapids, some riffles. I think that is the southern island, southern big island, and I think the channel between Ellie Island, or the big middle, is right there. It's getting pretty hot. I'm half through my water, and um, I'm not sure what to do. I kind of want to just go for it, go down the channel, come around, but at the same time, I don't want to get sucked into something that's going to shoot me down that way. And with the sun coming out like this, you're, start, you're getting a little more contrast. You can really start to see, right here, you can see the color almost, the natural color of the, of the dolomite. But you can really see how it's like sculpted and there's potholes down here. Right there, big chunks of it just broken off. I mean, look at this tree here. Poof! Just smashed up against the side of this island. Here's a big scour, some type of scour hole. This area right here is kind of grassy. From here over to there, and then there's a jump over to that island. I think um, that might be Pole Island. There's an island in the middle called Pole Island. It's either that one or that one. 
Um, I think it's that one. That's a future episode. And then there's also what I call, I guess, Dolomite Island, which is uh, right just north of where the, uh, the river trail goes under the Shocks Mill Bridge. There is a half mile long island of dolomite that gets up to 20 feet in elevation off the river and I really want to I really want to go there look at this right here a bunch of scat there look at this right here you see that that's a solutional feature now right here we have what looks like another overflow channel Coming over here. There seems to be a lot of birds here on the interior of the island. I can really hear them. Yeah, so this flood debris here kind of washed up on these trees. This is a little overflow route. I'm hearing something over there, maybe a deer. I'd love to see a deer. But just look how thick this is. I mean, it's uh, like a jungle in there. I was gonna bring my machete, but I forgot it. And judging by what I'm seeing here, at least on this side, in this direction, you're gonna need one to get in there. I mean, there's probably easier ways to get into the interior of the island. But uh, going in there with shorts on, I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know. What do you think's in there? I haven't seen any cabins yet or any ruins of cabins. This stuff is thick. This is that same stuff that it was, uh, I had to chop through so much of it when I went to de-run. All right, let's get back out in the rocks here. It's turned into a pretty nice day. There we go. Right there. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit. I think you can probably see it better now. Right there. That's the white cliffs. Shocks Mill Bridge. back at the kayak let's just go the whole way up here because there is a break a little overflow channel here that we might be able to get some kind of idea if there is a way to the interior of this island what's that that's metal there a lot of it too Huh. Oh, <laughs> you know what this is? Uh, I think this might, this might be an old pontoon boat. It seems, yeah, well, I don't know. Some of it's bent up here. Doesn't that kind of look like a, a pontoon boat? Especially those spots right there, the tubes. And then this would be the front, or maybe it's some kind of dredging barge. Let's go over here. Whoa! Here's some more of it. It's all twisted. There it is, there. It's big. Damn, look at that. It goes the whole way down there. I want to get closer, but I don't know how stable these. The log looks pretty good right here. Okay, yeah. See that? That would be, I guess, what the pontoon would be. These almost look like, like 55 gallon, like drums. You see that? Let's see. Here, I'm gonna go, hold on, let me put this on my head. Okay. I don't wanna... Oh, look at that, huh? You see, it goes way down there. And it's all just twisted and gnarled huh 
I'm thinking it's some kind of floating dock or something. Although those things on the ends kind of make it seem like it was uh, going going in direction. Those are just drums, though. That's all. That's all they are. One, two, three. So they're not pontoons in a sense that, like a boat, I think. And most of it is under the under the brush, though. Oh. Yeah, those things are those things are old though. I'm not seeing any trails or anything. You can see the channel right there. Huh. And here we are. Out of the jungles. Little scrubland here. And this is where all the stuff, this is where all the stuff washes up and catches at the top of this island. One of those blue 55 gallon drums. The uh, the pontoon wreckage is right back there. And you can see again the white cliffs. All right, I'm gonna figure out what to do. Get some drink, maybe have a snack, and we'll pick it up after that.